Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is, has Dell been hacked? You've probably heard of a social engineering scam technique that kind of mixes computer hacking with traditional phone-based social engineering. It's something they call voice phishing or vishing. This is when some scammer will call you pretending to be a big vendor, like maybe Microsoft or in this case, Dell. They'll say they've detected some sort of problem on your computer or in your software, and they'll ask you for some information. You know, usually they're either trying to get you to share some private information, like maybe credit card or social security number information to validate that you're their customer, or they're trying to get you to set up a remote desktop capability so they can gain access to your computer and do some nefarious things behind the scenes. In either case, these guys are scammers. You know, big companies like Microsoft and Dell don't call people and tell them they're having problems on their computer. In any case, this sort of vishing scam has been happening for years. Even against Dell users, there's been reports of people pretending to be Dell to try to get information from customers. It's not really a new type of scam. But but today there's a couple of stories talking about customers that were suffering from this scamming who now think that perhaps Dell may have been hacked. They talked about how the scammers who are calling pretending to be Dell were able to share private information about the particular victim, things like their past Dell support cases or some private information that would be hard to get unless they had some of Dell's information. So a lot of these victims and customers on Dell's forums are actually suggesting that perhaps Dell has been hacked, or at least there's some malicious insider sharing private information with these scammers. Now really, there's no evidence whether or not this is true. We don't know Dell's been hacked. This is based on an article that came out recently in, in victims' blog posts talking about the incident. So whether or not Dell has been hacked has really not been proven, and ultimately that's not what I'm concerned about. What I am more concerned about is that you are aware of these vishing campaigns. They're becoming much more popular lately. If you ever get an unsolicited phone call pretending to be Microsoft, Dell, or any other big vendor you know, and they start saying there's some sort of problem with something, and they ask you for private information, never ever share that information. Never set up a remote desktop because of an unsolicited call. Even if you somehow suspect it might be a legitimate call, I still recommend you'd hang up on it and rather call back that organization through a number they publish on their real website. That way you can confirm that you really are talking to a real representative. Anyways, the idea that Dell may be leaking private information, whether through a hack or some sort of malicious insider, is both concerning and a little interesting, but it hasn't been confirmed at all. And really, the only practical takeaway here is to remember and be aware aware of vishing. Don't share your private sensitive information if you ever get these sort of unsolicited calls from vendors. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.